Hey guys, Mythic here, and today we are back playing another, well, not playing, but watching, commentating on another uh, Medieval 2 battle. Now, uh, this is a 2v2, uh, two French players versus the Russians, me, and yes, I'm just giving myself that, the Russians, that is me, it's very nice. I always like the Russian helmets. I like the uh, chain metal coming down to the top of the metal cap. And my Portuguese ally. So now currently we're into the deployment phase. And over here I am just moving up my troops. I don't quite know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm trying to move over here to attack this player. Because usually most armies go together fight. Over here, my ally is got some conquistadors backed up by some aventuros and he's got some pavis. It's a pretty good army. Wait a minute. Not really much. I just got the usual Russian best archers, Devor, Burdish, and the boy our sons with some Tsar's guard and the Tsar himself and I'm skipping it, yay. <laughs> um but got general general doing what general things do like constantly readjusting himself on his horse. His horse is doing the same exact animation. Pretty riveting. I'm pretty sure all of you are at the edge of your seats. Why have I not moved these guys? Oh, there they go. The final stages of deployment are coming up. Pow. And then Mazar's guard just doing nothing. Okay, now they're spread out. Like I said, it's, it's probably more riveting action than you'll ever see in your life. I don't know if anything can compare to the amount of action there is. And of course, my nice monotone voice is adding so much intensity to the battle. Whoa, look at all the intense action here. Ooh. Whoa, look at that guy. He's just, you know, moving around. Doing stuff that people do before a battle. All right. But... And my ally is still deploying. I don't exactly know what he's doing. I wasn't paying attention to him during the battle. I was mainly paying attention to my army and uh, getting it perfect. And uh, I don't like stuff like this. It's just me, but I don't like it when units are hanging over the side like this. I like all my units to be backed by another unit. Anyway. So I got my uh, birdie Shaxman back to some boy our sons. You got the muscle in the front. You got the ranged in the front. In the middle, you got the muscle shock troops. In the back, you got the good balanced troops that are going to be able to hold up a fight much longer than the muscle with barely any defense. But the battle has begun. Over here, we have the uh, first French force, you know, mainly solid. Noble knights, feudal chivalric. Feudals, feudals, French archers, dismounted, and some lancers. Now over here you have my ally, and my ally, he must have been new, because he did get a few feudal knights. By the way, the money was extremely high, but he got a few feudal knights, two Scots guard, and then the rest he got was spear militia, sergeants, peasant crossbowmen, peasant archers. Over here he got uh, mounted sergeants. Knights Templar, Knights Hospitaller, Knights Hospitaller, Hospitaller, I call it Hospitaller. He's got more sergeants and more chivalric knights. Now, at this point, I'm going to shift my army over here to try to take his army on because they seem to be coming this way. And so, when I said he must have been new, when you have so much money that we had, we had 20k per army, 
you shouldn't bring sergeant, spearmen, or peasants unless you really have to. And in this case, he didn't because, I mean, I got away with some very expensive Russian units and I didn't bring any. My ally didn't bring any and my ally starts out quick. My ally's fight starts out quick. He's got some troops moving forward, Portuguese knights. And over here, we got some French mounted archers charging in. Don't know what they're exactly going to do. And the Knights of Santiago are just getting shot up. But nothing's really happening over here. I mean, the uh, player over here is trying to get his army into order. Yeah, not very interesting. But over here, got these two armies already skirmishing. Look, I mean, 4% of the allies, 2% of the enemies. That's a lot, and that's mainly just from my allies, Knights of Santiago. <laughs> there was a skirmish around here. So, the enemy French player is moving up his dismounted French archers. And their faces are worrying me. I don't, their faces worry me a lot. I think it's much better when they have helmets and you can't see what their face looks like or over here on my archer side and all you can see of their faces is like their eyes. So I'm gonna advance my army up a little and he starts shooting some flaming arrows in and it kills some of my birdie shacksmen. They're the most accurate deadly flaming arrows I've ever seen in this game. Now he starts hitting me with normal arrows and that just starts tearing through my birdie shacksmen and my devour. So I start returning fire with some of my Devore. They're gonna hit up and kill some of his peasant archers and a few crossbows, at least one crossbowman has died. But more of my archer units have gotten into position and these peasant archers just are not gonna hold up. It's my turn to archers. And if you come over here, we have a massive cavalry fight coming. Actually, I get the charge into his cavalry's back and the sergeants have already broken. The sergeants, they weren't expected to last long. And his chivalric knights have taken a lot of beating, but without the charge, the uh, knights hospitaler, the general, and other sergeants are going to do a very big number on my SARS guard. They start taking a lot of casualties. And over here, the archers are pretty much dead right here. I mean, there's like 22. 20. But the rest of the archer fight is going on against the two units of Scots Guard. And so, at this point, over here, they're they are winning in the cavalry engagement, about to flank. So I decided to just pull out my cavalry and get them away. Over here on my allies' side, I think my ally has made contact with the enemy. Yeah, some conquistadors and French mounted archers. My allies crossbow and skirmishing force is taking a huge beating though. And the enemies are not taking quite as much. Frankly, I'm more a fan of bows than crossbows in this game. I would like to know what other people think, so if you uh, prefer bow or crossbow, write it in the comments. I'd be interested to see. Because frankly, I prefer the bow but crossbow is not a bad weapon. It's good for, yeah, believe it or not, it's decent for choke points if you can have them shoot at the right time. More of my people are starting to go down really fast. And so I need these archers just firing. As an archer unit, I pretty much told everyone to ignore and focus on the more healthier units back here. Over here, the cavalry engagement has ceased. I like how it's kind of got this, uh, you know, on one side, we completely slaughtered them. Then, when they charged this way, we got slaughtered. I brought six units of cavalry, so I have enough cavalry to do a lot. And then I decide, I'm going to try to run down some of his archers. And I'm, I didn't think he noticed at first. Because he didn't do much besides move them back, but and then he started putting them forward. But uh, I think he must have noticed. I mean, I'd be surprised if he didn't. He started charging. 
this unit of Knights Templar over here. So I just pull these guys away. I don't really lose any of them. Their knights just miss me. They don't go after me. Unfortunately, though, we decide to fight. So I move my archers out of here. He starts sending forward his archers. I send forward some birdie shacksmen. It's kind of weird because there's the war, and he's got archers over here. I mean, this these two units are doing have taken a lot of damage. If you look over here, my ally is actually charging with his archers. I don't know why it'd be impossible for them to run out of ammo this early in the battle. I think he's just moving forward, which is I must say this is pretty close for two armies to get. And yeah. They're just I think the uh opposing player is trying to get his troops out of here. And I mean well not out of here but closer up. And my ally charges in. It wasn't a very good charge at all. And my and the enemy is going to be attacked by the lancers. Now over here, combat is fully engaged with the cavalry. So I decide that this needs to be the final fight with the cavalry. So I'm gonna send over a two hand unit. And if you don't know, two hand units work very well at killing cavalry compared to spearmen. I mean spearmen are good, but nothing compares to a two handed unit versus cavalry. I call them cavalry eaters. They just eat through cavalry. You know, swordsmen don't do as good. Just two handed units, especially axemen. But pikemen do really good. And if we look around, yeah, there's these generals here. Let's we'll see if we can find him. Where is he? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half and if you hear that, they have lost half of their men. Actually, I don't know where his general is. To know his general's bodyguards here. General's bodyguard. Anyway, we flanked him and the birdies are going. And over here, full of combat is engaged. We got swordsmen going. Got archers in the background. If you go to my ally's side, defeat. My ally is winning with the pike winning conquistadors. Go back over here. He charges some chivalric knights in. And so this is a little worrying at first because I don't really have anything that can fight them. The Devour are decent in melee, but not the best. And so, his general is still somewhere in here. I know it was the general's bodyguard unit because... I know it was the general bodyguard unit because it had 41. The enemy general, the enemy general is Seems like the enemy general has died already. I got my general running around, chasing after a unit of Scott's guard. And for some reason they break their charge. I don't know why. But they are going to be fighting the Scott's guard. Let's see if we can find my general. Oh, there he is. Let's see if he gets any kills. Ooh, there's one, maybe two. I don't know. Over here, my ally has pretty much just destroyed the French player over here. So it's really up to me to finish the battle off, and at this point, there's nothing that my opponent can do to beat me. I've completely destroyed his army, except for a few units, and actually these are my birdies over here. Peasant archers running away. We have won. All that's left of my ally, or my opponent, is like one unit. And I don't know where they are. I think it was these. But yes. We have won the battle. And I just decided to start chasing him down. Because at this point, I assume 
that the only people that are left are fighting my ally. All civilized peoples will be awed by the victory we have And we just won, if you hear in the background. It was a very, very good battle. I actually had some... As you can see here, I uh, got the most kills. My ally got the second most. The uh, actually the uh, player that was good over here got less, and the player who was the newer one was over here. And yes, they still do have the symbols. Very great. We got moral wind. I don't know what this one is. I'm gonna have to look. It might be the automatic. It might be. The ones that I thought were Hammerfell were actually the Clan of the Crowned, but they had a Hammerfell banner in battle, so this is kind of weird. That we might look. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let's go.